Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to make this video because a lot has happened over the last pretty much two weeks and I wanted to give the full story. So this is the full story on what happened with me and Miriam Mullen. So as you all know, I am in the Go House and the way this started is Miriam put out a video on her TikTok because she was answering questions and basically someone said, oh, give your opinions on the Go House. And essentially what she said was, it was a good idea at the start. It's a bit boring now. I think there should be more drama and tea basically so instead of me just describing what she said i will just put up the tiktok that she put up i'll be honest i think it was really hyped up at the start i thought it was an amazing idea a great concept but now i'm just a bit kind of like just from a watcher's perspective it's a bit boring i don't know lads i think i got the complete wrong impression of it like i genuinely thought it was going to be like big brother we'd get to see what's going on inside there like drama you know who doesn't get on with who kind of I just think there is a lot of similar people in there and they're like a big bunch of friends just having a great time making content. And just from an outsider's perspective, it's a little bit boring to watch. I don't know, I feel like we need a bit of tea or drama or something inside there and then it'll be. So nobody else in the house really reacted to the video. No one else thought it was bad except me. Not that it was a bad video, but it was just shit to hear. And it was just really shit to hear because I really like Miriam. My natural reaction to that video was to get really defensive. If anyone knows me in real life, you all know I'm extremely upfront. I will say anything to anybody's face. So I just got really, really defensive. And I overreacted completely. I said some really, really nasty things, but I'll get into that now. So if any of you don't know, Our House has a segment on YouTube called Tea Chop. And we just talk about anything that's relevant in social media at all. And and at the time Miriam's in video was included in our video. All of us as a house reacted to it but me in particular overreacted to Miriam's segment and I said some extremely nasty things and um, I'm just gonna play the teaser that was put out on TikTok. Who said it was gonna be Big Brother? Like you're a 24 year old why do you want us to make up fake drama? Sorry! <laughs> with the 24 year old! So basically that video was filmed in the heat of the moment so that Miriam uploaded her video and we filmed it essentially straight after so the day after um i watched it with a clear head but i didn't get to watch it until it was actually uploaded to tiktok so the teaser part because that's all that went up the youtube video never went up i felt terrible because what i said was so horrible and so nasty and i take full accountability for that i've apologized to miriam multiple times so what i said was so terrible and i honestly am so sorry i am still so sorry that i said any of those things i'm genuinely not like that usually <laughs> but I was like that at the time. So when that video surfaced, obviously we got a lot of hate, but me in particular got a lot of hate because I said most of the stuff about Miriam. The whole community, Irish community reacted terribly to it and rightly so, but it was taken down after two hours. So after that went up and everything was taken down, obviously I was getting a lot of hate, but I was kind of just ignoring it as much as possible because I thought if the video was taken down that it would just kind of blow over, but clearly not. I got a message from Miriam that evening saying she was really upset and I offered to ring her, but then she put up on her Instagram story that she was gonna go live, so I just messaged her and I was like, oh, um, if you don't want to go on a call, I can go on live stream with you and we can talk it out publicly because then obviously the, the air would be cleared publicly and in between us at the same time. So I went live with Miriam and we were talking and we cleared the air and I publicly apologized to her many, many times. It was, everything was made in four takes and honestly we all apologized. And we never made to make anything like we never meant went out to hurt anyone like i've apologized to Neve now as well like and so has nia and like a few other people like we are so sorry for anyone we hurt we don't well, like that was never our intention at all like, i'm so sorry for what i said or on behalf of other people what some stuff has said like it was never supposed to be any bad blood at all and i was truly sorry for what i said and i still am truly sorry so after that live i thought everything was good we had squashed the beef and i just left it it was about a probably a few days and i hadn't even thought about anything obviously it took a while for the hate to die down on my side that i was receiving but i didn't really care because me and miriam were okay and that's all that mattered to me so three or four days later and um, miriam came out with this youtube video talking about the drama with the go house even though it was just me completely unprofessional and they fecked up like i'm not gonna lie they fucked up. Now, I did a live with one of the people in the house. I didn't get an apology, which, look, I'm at the point now where I don't really care, but we spoke it out. We squashed the beef or whatever what was there. The question is, did you fully accept Lauren's apology or do you still feel upset by it all? Like, I didn't even get an apology and it's not even off just Lauren herself. At least Lauren came on alive with me and had the balls to kind of, like, speak about it in front of, like, there was, like, 1,000 people or more watching the live. But no one else in the house really did. Well, Shauna did ring me, but she wasn't even in the video. So, like, I can't really say anything bad there. But, um, 
I didn't really get an apology, neither did Neof. And look, I don't even want one at this stage. It's not even that. It's just the whole point of it all. It's like you make a video about someone that has actually nothing to do with you and I don't know, it's just playing the victim, I don't know. So that video really upset me because basically Miriam kind of revived the issue and I received a lot more hate again from her fans because she said I never apologised, which I did multiple times. I've apologised to Neve now as well, like, and so has Nia and like a few other people. I then found out that Our House had previously recorded a new tea talk where the lads were basically skidding me about the whole situation with Miriam. Last week, Miriam Mullins, <laughs> bless her posted a yeah little, god bless the poor girl <laughs> no, no, seriously, posted a bit of a constructive criticism it wasn't opinion. even that and then it'll be the and cheek of her absolute <laughs> disrespect oh who said it was gonna be big brother swear to god ah! if i see miriam triggered Shit, like we were like, we. I respected her more for saying that, and the girls were like, no, no, no. So then I just filmed a little bit to add into that video, just with my proof that I did apologize and my defense. She's here to destroy our TikTok. She's here to ruin our TikTok. It's happening again. Currently, that video isn't up, but that has nothing to do with me. That is a completely different circumstance. But everything that I said, I will show now. But I had so much respect for Miriam. I was really upset. Blah blah. blah. We filmed that video. Went up without our consent. It wasn't supposed. To, it was up in poor taste, and I apologised for that. But we went on live, and we. I apologised to her multiple times. Anyone who was in that live saw I apologised. I apologised so many times. I screenshots of me apologising. Nia Gal apologised. Nia Gal text. also apologised. I apologised to Neve as well, and she said I never apologised to Neve. So her make putting up a video saying I never apologised is wrong. And I thought Miriam, we. I'm gonna say this to you directly if you're watching this video. We messaged afterwards and we were having a lovely conversation. I apologise to you multiple times. I wholeheartedly apologise. I can put up screenshots if that's what you want. Hmm? Screenshot! Can you just say sorry already, Lauren? Come on. Like, I've said sorry know, so many times. And the fact that you're milking this so much is honestly really breaking my heart because I thought everything was squashed. I thought we were okay. We're in the same agency. We're probably going to work together in the future. And now I don't know how I feel about the whole situation at all. In that video, I was never bashing Miriam at all. I was only defending myself and showing the facts of what happened. So I couldn't understand why she made that video because I clearly did apologize. And it really upset me that she was kind of bringing the drama back up again. So that was just my defense. So the TikTok and the YouTube video went up and Miriam didn't take it well at all. She put up a few stories of her upset and I personally couldn't understand why she was really upset about the video. She put up stories about the house as well even though this literally had nothing to do with the house. It was literally all about me. I do understand it was on the Go House YouTube. If anything everyone else in the house was roasting me and taking the piss out of me and taking Miriam's side. The talk that was uploaded was filmed in the heat of the moment. We were all very very upset about what happened. I've said this to Miriam. I've said this on the live stream. Not all of us were very upset. <laughs> no, Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. I was upset. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. She messaged me and then I messaged her. I tried to ring her a few times and then she decided to go live. So in her live stream, she was just talking about the situation, saying she was really upset and that I was just bashing her, even though I was just, just defending myself. And then I decided to go live because a lot of people wanted me to go live with Miriam, but she wouldn't let me into the live stream. So I went live and then she ended up joining my live stream and we tried to talk it out. It got a bit heated. I'll show some clips. Agreeing with that. I'm okay, but why are you making a big deal out of it all? Miriam, do you understand what your fans do? They came to me. They support me. me. They support me. Did I or did I not apologize? To me? Yes. Kind of in the live, yeah, but... Okay, um... I, what I meant... Okay, I'll say this, sorry now. Lauren, you did apologize to me, yes. But what I meant was I didn't get a proper apology from Nia. I didn't get a, a proper apology from anyone else in the house. Let me post it was something a, it was an all, it's an thing. Someone asked in your, so you put up a questions for, yeah. you put up Instagram questions for people to, for your video. Someone asked, oh God, yeah. are you and Lauren okay after she's <laughs> apologized? <laughs> yes or no? I actually can't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> so when she posted her Instagram stories and went live, that's when the hate started flooding in again to me and it was 10 times worse than it was at the beginning. Obviously going live isn't the best way to sort stuff. I did ring her a few times because I did want to deal with this privately, but she went live so I decided I had to go live because I wasn't gonna allow myself to just be bashed on the internet like that. So once again, Miriam, I am extremely sorry for what I said about you in the beginning 
but the video that was uploaded on the go house recently was just my defense to your video and i feel like i had every right to do that but i really hope we can squash this beef i never wanted this to end up so publicly i did want to deal with it privately but this is just the way it ended out this whole thing has been blown out of proportion the only reason i'm making this video is because the go house video currently isn't up anymore and i just felt this was better than putting up a few instagram stories so people can just come here if they do want the full story i didn't want any chinese whispers happening i didn't mean to bash anyone and i wasn't bashing anyone this is just my defense i know this is a different type of video but thank you all for watching and i hope you all have a good day